Hello and welcome back to Hardly Tech. Another quick intro today. Today's video will be comparing the 1080 Ti, the 2080 Super, and the 3060 Ti at 4K. Alright, let's jump into the testing. Here are the system specs once again. And the usual testing suite. Borderlands 3, F1 2019, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Far Cry 5, and Metro Exodus. First up, let's check out this sweet loot in Borderlands 3. Don't get between me and my gun, heretic! In Borderlands 3, the 1080 Ti and the 3060 Ti start basically at the same frame rate. Shortly after, however, the 1080 Ti starts to maintain about a 1 to 2 frame per second lead over the 3060 Ti, and in a few instances, it holds around a 5 frame per second lead for a short time. And once again, as usual, the 2080 Super maintains about a 2 to 3 frame per second lead over the 1080 Ti for the entire test, and in a few instances, more like 5 frames per second. Overall, the test is very close, the 2080 Super being the only card that maintains over 30 frames per second for basically the whole test. Let's fuel up and jump into F1 2019. F1 2019 at 4K is really starting to show the strength of the 1080 Ti. Comparing the 3060 Ti to the 1080 Ti, the 1080 Ti actually maintains about a 6 frame per second lead over the 3060 Ti consistently, sometimes reaching as high as 10 to 12 frames per second. Comparing to the 2080 Super, they maintain basically the same frame rate through the entire test. 
each trading leads of about 1 to 3 frames per second, never really holding over the other for very long. Shh, hop into that bush. It's time for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We're starting to see a pattern here with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Comparing the 1080 Ti to the 3060 Ti in the first test, the 1080 Ti holds about a 4 to 5 frame per second lead for the entire first test. Comparing to the 2080 Super, the 1080 Ti is about 4 to 5 frames per second behind. In the second test, the 1080 Ti maintains about a 6 to 8 frame per second lead over the 3060 Ti. Comparing to the 2080 Super, the 2080 Super maintains about a 5 to 7 frame per second lead over the 1080 Ti. And in the third test, we see the same pattern. The 1080 Ti holds about a 6 to 8 frame per second lead over the 3060 Ti, and the 2080 Super maintains that same lead over the 1080 Ti. Does anybody hear that song? It's time for Far Cry 5!
Far Cry 5 continues the trend that we've been seeing between the 1080 Ti and the 3060 Ti. The 1080 Ti holds anywhere from 6 to 14 frames per second lead over the 3060 Ti, usually averaging around 8 frames per second ahead. Comparing the 1080 Ti to the 2080 Super, they once again trade frame rate leads of about 1 to 2 frames per second back and forth throughout the test. Does anybody else see that giant shrimp? Run! Ah! It's time for Metro Exodus! Here in Metro Exodus, we're seeing similar results to the previous two runs at 1440p and 1080p. The 1080 Ti and the 3060 Ti run basically the same frame rate. If there is a lead, it's about one frame per second in favor of the 3060 Ti, but it quickly diminishes. Comparing to the 2080 Super, the 2080 Super maintains anywhere from 3 to 12 frame per second lead over the 1080 Ti and 3060 Ti, usually in the neighborhood of 4 to 7 frames per second. Alright, so now that we've compared each card at 1080p, 1440p, and 4K, I think we've got a pretty clear picture of what this card is capable of. Now something to keep in mind, this 3060 Ti specifically only uses one 8-pin power connector, and that could be where some of this frame rate loss is coming from. The card has a maximum theoretical power limit of 225 watts. In its stock configuration, it generally hovers around 200 watts or so. And for the most part, it keeps up with the 1080 Ti and 2080 Super. At 1080p, it actually surpasses the 1080 Ti in a number of tests. However, at 1440p, we start to see that it's more in line with the 1080 Ti, in fact, losing in some scenarios. But the great equalizer, 4K Gaming, it actually loses, sometimes handily, to the 1080 Ti, losing around 10 frames per second in games, which is significant, especially at 4K, when you're trying to maintain 30 frames per second or 60 if you're able. Now, it is true that you can turn some settings down to gain performance back. However, I think the 3060 Ti being marketed as being about the 1080 Ti level and 2080 slash 2080 Super level, this card specifically is losing too much performance, in my opinion. Now, that's not to say that this card is trash or not worth buying. I'm not trying to poo-poo all over it. I'm just saying that as a competitor to the 2080 level cards, at 4K, it's just not there. Part of what keeps the 1080 Ti competitive, I believe, is the fact that it has a much larger frame buffer, 11 gigabytes versus the 8 gigabytes in the 3060 Ti and the 2080 Super. We see evidence of this in games that utilize more VRAM, like Far Cry 5 and Shadow of the Tomb Raider, where both surpass 8 gigabytes on the 1080 Ti, and it's able to maintain frame rates near the 2080 Super level. So my final thoughts on regular old rasterized gaming for this card. Is it worth buying? Should you spend your money? on it. Well, I do think that it is worth buying. If you're coming from an entry-level card or a mid-range card that isn't quite up to the 1070-2060 level performance, this could be a very good upgrade for you. The 3060 Ti also offers ray tracing. How good the ray tracing performance is on the 3060 Ti is what we're going to take a look at in the next video. So, keep your eyes peeled for that series of videos. I sincerely hope that this series of videos has helped anybody that might be looking at the 3060 Ti for an upgrade. Or if you've got a 1080 Ti or a 2080 or Super, and you're wondering if this card is worth your hard-earned money. At or near MSRP, I think the 3060 Ti is a good option. It has a lot to offer, and at a fairly reasonable power consumption level. And with that, it's on to the ray tracing testing. 
Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It would really help my channel grow. I'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now.